Never thought I'd see the day. Never thought I'd see the day people beg for sap to come back. Actually, I guess if I thought about it for like more than a second, it makes perfect sense. Because people begged for me to play something other than Isaac for like 10 years, and then when I did, they were like, play Isaac. Librarian, thank you for the gifted subscription. I haven't even said anything yet. I haven't even made a joke yet. Play any other game 2023 challenge impossible? What are you talking about? We've been playing, we, we got the most variety on this platform, except for like eight other streamers that have more variety. But like compared to 99.9% .9 of the platform. You, I'm, so listen, because I keep clicking on the uh, Thread Boys posts from Silicon Valley that are like, everything you thought you knew about making sandwiches is wrong, Twitter keeps serving me more tweets from Silicon Valley Thread Boys, and I'm, I love it because I'm like, holy cow, this is a different world than what I'm used to. But then also, I hate it because like every single post is like, I need a personal housekeeper. I need a therapist that lives in my house. I need a personal chef. I need a personal trainer that lives in my house. I need my house to be a monastery so that I have complete clarity to seek my purpose. And you're like, damn bro, what's your purpose? And they're like, I'm making DoorDash too. You're like, really? That's it? You're making a worse version of something we already have? You're making Snapchat on the blockchain? You need to go huff ayahuasca in like the Colombian jungle so you can come back and make like uh, Uber Eats, but you can pay extra to get the food to you 2% faster. Just kidding, it never works. I would have thought like this is something you'd have to do if you were like the president or something like that. Or if you were like uh, the, the captain of a nuclear powered submarine who needs complete mental clarity. But instead it's like, nah man, we're making like a worse train. And then there's like 900 replies from other blue checks that are like so true, I've always been saying this. Nobody's as enlightened as a 22 year old computer science graduate who thinks they're the only person who it would be nice if somebody else did their dishes for them so they could focus on shit they find more valuable to themselves. <laughs> Meanwhile, the happiest people I've ever met in my life cook dinner and then they're like, Give me that plate. And I'm like, no, it's okay, I can help. And they're like, no, I like doing the dishes. Well, what do they know? They never made Snapchat too. Are these guys related to the dudes who live for the grinds? I don't know. And I can't tell if that one dude's messing with me. The dude who, he, was, he made the post that was like, everybody's drinking coffee wrong. Somebody tattled, somebody knocked on me. And he was like, here's one for free for you. And it was like, everybody makes mistakes when they buy snacks for their kids' lunches. You have to buy snacks that are divisible by um, the number of children you have. Also, what I do if I'm making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, I make peanut butter sandwiches the night before, open parentheses, you can't put jelly on them because then they'll get soggy. Then in the morning, I put jelly on them so that they get fresh peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm like, this can't be real. But when I was looking, it's either the greatest satire of all time, or he's a true believer, in which case, more power to you, quite frankly. I'm, it just, I wanna, if he takes offense to it, I do wanna get in the mentions and basically just say, you know, it's your God-given right to live however you wanna live on the planet. I'm not making fun of your soul, I'm, I'm just, I, the, the way that you're tweeting is incompatible with the way that I'm living my life, which is fine. What's wrong with saving time? That's begging the question. It, in the, at the end of the day, what would I say, what's wrong with saving time? Um, well, it, the Twitter thread was nine tweets, probably took 15 minutes to set the whole thing up, thread it properly. Um, I think it would only take you like 10 years of making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches the night before school instead of in the morning of school in order to compensate for the amount of time it took to tweet about how much time you were saving make your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches the night before school. That's my, that's my hunch at least, I'm not trying to be a hater. In the whole scheme of things, just disagreeing with a guy is like, we can still get along, we can still be at the barbecue together, we could even have some banter, he can make, my job's not real either, you know? <laughs> we're basically, we, we have more in common than we have apart, and neither of us are like war criminals or something like that, but... Dude, on the Peloton this morning, I tried something new, okay? I, I, at the grocery store yesterday, I, w I, I switched to, I'm, sorry, I'm time hacking myself here. 
Last week I switched from 90 minute rides to an hour and 20 or 120 minute rides, okay? In the last 30 minutes, my legs were dying, my hands were shaking. I can always, in like the last 15 minutes, always felt like something in my throat kind of like seize up, almost like my thyroid was like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with this. So I said, you know what, that's not sustainable. So I bought these little specialized cycling nutrition waffles. They're, they're called Honey Stinger Stroop Waffles. And I was like, listen, I'm a little bit skeptical that this is going to like save my life. But then I had one serving of Stroop Waffles before this, before my first ride. And then one serving of Stroop Waffles halfway through. And at the end of the ride, I felt like Thanos getting the last Infinity Stone. I was, I was just, I was normal. My legs weren't crying out in pain. My, uh, my throat didn't seize up or anything. It turns out. You know how it says, like, this food has energies in it? <laughs> Sorry, this sentence does not make sense. Uh, this food has energy in it? It turns out that that is not just, like, a, a placebo. It turns out your body actually uses that energy for fuel. And it could either make you go faster or uh, go for longer or just feel better while you're doing it. Who would have thought, man? It turns out calories are real. Anyway. Slash marker ranked sap. It's a it's a new day, it's a new life, and I'm feeling good. I played three ranked games of Super Auto Pets yesterday, so I know how ranked works. I gotta tell you, where are we sitting here? Oh, I've only played three games, okay? I'm already in the top 10%. That's all I'm saying. I It says that, I didn't say it, it's saying that. And that's after only playing three games, okay? Now, can I tell you that also, in my first game, I ran into stands, and I was like, for the first eight rounds, I was beating the piss out of him. Boom! Boom! You want another one? Boom! Level two lemur, flying squirrel, garlic on a toucan that gets passed back to a peacock. Boom! Then I looked at his team, and I saw that he had four capybaras. And I went, ah, oh, son of a... <laughs> and then from two wins, he clawed his way back to beat me. And uh, the worst part is, I knew it was happening. Even when I saw it, I was like, because this is an arena, you know? You have to beat a specific person in order to win this week. You have to beat the last person remaining. He had two lives, I had five. I looked at his team and I said, I'm torched. There's no way, because once you lose one, you're losing the rest. Anyway. Ranked is a bit of a different vibe, um, but I have been enjoying it because it, uh, thank you, two and a half scums. What a name, <laughs> poop dick. <laughs> Did you drop this, King? Hello, Corey. Corey, have you ever you ever used this? You ever use performance enhancing drugs on the bike? Turns out in the Netherlands they kind of got it all figured out, man. Eat a, eat a couple of mini waffles, get on the bike ride for an hour and then eat a couple more mini waffles and ride for another hour. I feel like, I felt like damn Superman. And it's only like a hundred dollars a serving too. Pretty cheap in relation to average prices for cycling merchandise. Oh baby, we're so back. Bubbly housewives, no disrespect. By the way, someone said, what happened to BioSteel? Haven't heard you talk about it in a while. It's, I don't talk about breathing oxygen either, you know? I don't talk about um, synthesizing vitamin D from, from sunlight. Does a, does a plant talk about using its chloroplast to create glucose? I don't think so. It just sits there and goes like... And then it's like, it's the autumn, it goes... And then it, go, it goes flat on the ground and then it goes like... And then the ants start eating it, you know what I'm talking about? You ever see like a time, a sped up video of like a, a peach getting eaten by a bunch of parasites or something? No? You should. It's an interesting, it's an interesting phenomenon. Okay, we, we picked up a dub. Feels good. We got some scaling. Feels okay. Obviously we want more scaling. What's your go-to BioSteel flavor? Melon de O. What a watermelon. Watermelon. 
Ew. Something happened between the 90s and today. People really do be hating watermelon now. Holy cow, your team's quite strong. <laughs> People really do be hating watermelon these days. When I was a kid, watermelon was like the preeminent flavor. Or maybe, I don't know, but maybe it was a rural Canada thing where like watermelon was just the best fruit, the best flavor, the best color. It was crazy. Nothing hit in the summertime in Yarker, Ontario, population eight, like your grandma driving out to a grocery store 45 minutes away, getting a watermelon, slicing it up. And we weren't doing, you know, the cubes and then you stick a toothpick in and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are triangular slices. It tasted so good, you'd nibble the rind all the way. You'd be eating little pieces of green and you'd be like, it's still good. It's, there's still some meat on the bones. Watermelon is just water with bad flavor. False. It's water with good flavor. All, I'm, I'm a melon supporter in all ways. Watermelon, great. Cantaloupe, great. Honeydew, great. Korean melon, great. Bitter melon, great. I, I love melons, man. I'm, if, if there is one cantaloupe supporter left on earth, it is me, okay? Please put a mandrel, no chameleon. I'm telling you, these are, this is not the way this week. These, these are not the way this week. This is not the way. This is the way if you get it early. This is the way if you got a big lad. Earliest turn you can get a snake. It's a little late for a snake. There's two different ways to look at time, dumbass. One of them is, uh, oh, how many minutes have I been alive? And the other one is how many minutes is it till I fucking die, okay? My ass is gonna die in one turn if I don't play my cards exactly right, okay? Doesn't matter if it's the earliest I can get a snake if buying a snake means that our ETA for life is like 14 seconds. We have to, the only thing we have right now is to put faith in ourselves. As Sting said, if I ever lose my faith in you, I don't remember what he says after that. I think he says, there's nothing I could ever do. Somebody timed out. Please tell me I, I went up against them. This, this is uh, horrendous. We've, we've lost. We've been eliminated. Okay. You know how I said um, I'm okay with stream sniping? We're going to change that. You guys enjoy the rest of your lobby. I just lost 10 ranking points. I've been deprecated. Luckily, it takes... Uh, they're on Google Firebase, so it takes nine hours for this number to update in the server. They got the damn no sequel. This is a, brother, this is a good lobby. I'm here with Javington. How the heck is the average yard size in Alaska 200,000 square feet, followed by Maine at 70,000 square feet? I'm, is that you're saying that, are, what, what are you surprised about? Alaska has a huge yard size because it has low population density. Maine being second kind of surprises me, though. I would have assumed that it would be something like Montana or one of the Dakotas or something like that. I'm surprised about Maine being number two. What do you think is the most densely populated city in the world? Globe emoji. It's not what you think. Monocle emoji. Uh, is, it, is it Dhaka, Bangladesh? That would be my guess, I suppose. It is? <laughs> Wait, are you, are you... Oh, you're supposed to say OMG, it is. Vancouver? Only at the Richmond Night Market, brother. Dhaka's top ten, but Google says Manila. All right. Fair enough. The world is going through a global fertility crisis. The replacement rate of children is 2.1. A population is considered stable there. Canada hit a record low of 1.4 children per woman. Korea at 0.84. No one wants kids anymore? Okay. Listen, I'm glad you brought that up. Many inquiring minds are talking about this. But um, you got me laughing because I was talking about the Twitter thread boys who like... They're like, oh, I'm so busy. I'm too busy to wipe my fucking ass. I'm too busy to cook lunch. Oh, I wish someone would make a meal in pill form. All I have time to do is go to work and then tweet 900 tweet threads about the most insane shit of all time. Did anybody else have the misfortune of being served the one that was like, in my opinion, the real replacement rate to keep a population stable is actually 5.4 based on this Swedish study that said... Uh, if you were born in the 1900s, a hundred years later, only 25% of people had any living descendants with genetic uh, relation to the person. 
So if you actually want to build a legacy, you have to have, on average, 5.4 children. And you're like, brother, first off, my ass does not want to have 5.4 kids. One is pretty hard. Two it would be probably four times as hard. I don't even want to think about, like when we had three here, like we have my nieces here, I was like, how, do they, how does Dan do it, man? Don't even get me started on sips. <laughs> but also, well, like maybe some people might take this as insanity, but like, what do I care if in like a hundred years I have no genetic relatives? Like, who, who gives a shit? Like, I think I can understand wanting to have kids because I have a kid. I can understand, um, and we're, we're going to try a little scaling here. I can understand, though I understand the flip side of being annoyed by it as well. I can understand wanting your kids to have grandkids. But wanting your grandkids to have kids so that you have great grandkids is crazy in my opinion like that's your that mind your own business great grandpa and then you're going even like one generation past that you're saying like i want that's a strong team right there too <laughs> you're saying like i want my great grandkids to have kids so that i can be uh, a great great grandfather and like build a legacy and that to me is basically insane it's like i i read the selfish gene by richard dawkins uh before he got extremely canceled okay this is in high school it was like 1991 and it was basically like your genes want to propagate themselves i read that and even as like a 17 year old I was like, that makes sense from like an animal kingdom standpoint. Um, it's cool that, you know, with culture and stuff like that, we, you know, our decisions in life aren't entirely dictated by like my adenosine and guanine wanting to pass themselves on in the exact permutation that they're already in. Some of these fuckers read it, maybe because they don't have, they're not forced to take any damn arts classes in university. Some of these dudes read it, and by read it, I mean they probably read a 15 minute summary or something on some fucked up Y Combinator startup and said, oh, this is an instruction manual for like how to succeed at life. Sorry, I've gone too far. He has so much energy. I do what I'm telling you, it's the Stroopwafels. It turns out eating before and then in the middle of exercise is OP, man. Stroop waffle means syrup waffle. People from the Netherlands be like, I don't understand. Why did you buy special Stroop waffle? Why didn't you just buy regular Stroop waffle? Bro, look at my, look at where I am on the map, brother. It's actually pronounced Stroop waffles. That's cool. Um, it's actually pronounced fucking... Give me a funny word in Dutch that I can say it's in English. Like, it, actually, it's this idiot, bozo. Somebody give me a very silly Dutch word. What was the, the viral tweet about Dutch? It was like... In English, it was like, my friend cut off my penis with a pair of scissors. And then when it was Google translated to Dutch, it's like, mein Freund das kutten mein Peen with the hunter knifer. That's German? No, it's not. I made it up completely. It's nothing. It's gone. I spent it. I slammed my penis into the car door. Did you, have you seen the, the dude on Twitter? And this is a rare funny tweet. But he, I, he's a comedian. The bit is uh, immaculate, but it also still kind of escapes me. I don't know how to explain it, except it's a guy with like an AI filter over his face and he says something like, he does vlogs and goes like, I went on an elegant walk today in the city where the internship is taking place. It's great news, guys. The, the girl call me back. I, the exchange student guy, he's, he's blowing up, man. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Can you guys stop playing so fast so that I can look him up? I want to look this guy up and give him credit because it's... It's funny. Because it's funny? I don't care. Whatever. Play Starfield. Enjoy. Brian Jordan Alvarez. Exactly. 
They're not gonna believe the good level of the situation that is happening in my current light right now. The girl talks to me the freak buck. Dude, it gets me every it's so good. This is a genuine appreciation. I I think it's a, an insanely great bit. The girl texted me the freak back. I don't know, some, there's just something about it, man. I am so excited that I am going to get to go on a date with the girls. And she told me that she was away working on something, apparently because she is a professional person who played the viola instruments. I don't know how he does it. It's the funniest delivery of anything I've ever heard in my entire life. I don't get it, it just sounds like a guy talking. Not over here. <laughs> the rhythm is incredible. This is unbelievable talent, man. She was focused on Dr. All Weed and she was working in a plate where they did not have a telephone or access to internet. <laughs> I don't know how to... I, I cannot adequately convey my appreciation for the... for how incredible this character is. He said, what are you kind of some kind of retreat that you were on that you were playing the viola instrument all week? She said, she get to focus. Say, hey, well, I understand that the focus on the mathematical calculation is something you have to do in your life when you want to move to the next level and achieve the next occurring thing. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Okay, I'm starting to get it. It's, it, it's amazing. Well, it, I, I don't know what else to say. I think I've... It, I, I found my new obsession. It's not even, it's inimitable. Inimitable? It's inimitable. I can't imitate it. So I'm going to try anyway, probably, and then it's going to be very embarrassing. So I'm so excited that I'm going on a date with her this week. I said, where would you like to go? Where would you like to do? You want to go to a movie, dinner, whatever? I'm so excited. She said, how about we go on two dates to make up for the situation? I said, I would love to go on two dates. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. I can't watch YouTube anymore. I got a 30 second unskippable ad before a 30 second library of Letourneau video. I mean, listen, I'm not being a hater in the slightest. Are you aware that it's the librarian putting those ads in front of the video? <laughs> Again, I'm in the same business here. I'm not trying to cause any problems. I'm just so close. That's why I watch them. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll just keep it a buck fifty with you. We needed a better unit out of our level up. We're probably going out. We're probably going out first. <laughs> I think you need the cover screen when you queue. I, it's not that kind of game, to be honest with you. Like in if you're Grims and you're hot dropping in PUBG in June 2017, I get it, for sure. But in Super Auto Pets, like, it's not like they're, I, if anything, we're just getting really good players. We're not getting players that are uniquely targeting us, we're just getting players who are really good. It's 1500 ELO, it's average. Ranked has been out for like four seconds, Viswanathan Anand, okay? The, you can tell how good they are based on their performance, not simply the... I mean, listen, this is not like Magnus Carlsen's world. Like, check this out, okay? The highest ELO in the world is 1713 right now. That's probably your lie chess rating, which means in actuality, over the board play, you're probably around an 850. So if you don't know what you're talking about, keep your fingers from typing, okay? I'm number two on the leaderboard. Am I allowed to be mean to you? Nobody's allowed to be mean to anybody, just for one. Secondly, congratulations is obviously, you know, I hate to say this. Here's that attention you ordered. Secondarily, what are you doing in my chat? Shouldn't you be in the Super Auto Pets Discord talking about how units nobody uses in the arena are actually overpowered? Oh, we got to nerf the chicken, even though, oh, me and the nine other people who play versus against each other all the time. Oh, we've made a, oh, duck is too strong. We need to nerf duck. Why the anger? You, when you're making a joke at my expense, it's just banter. Me, when I'm making a joke at your expense, why are you so mad? You see how messed up this is? 
The only difference between us is that mine made people laugh. And then you have the audacity to be offended by, by the words that came out of my mouth? I added joy into the world. More people are laughing now than were five minutes ago. And apparently that makes me a war criminal in your eyes. Hey, Giga, congratulations, by the way, on being the newest VTuber in the V Shoujo lineup. I even, I, I saw the announcement on Twitter and then I went to my Discord and I typed a, a brand new sentence. Hey, chat, what does it mean that Giga just got debuted on V Shoujo? And they said, I don't really remember, honestly, but they said it was a big deal. So congratulations. <laughs> I screenshotted that message and sent it to my VTuber friends. That's not Giga who said that. That was Shiki Khan, just to be fair. But like, like close Tier together, so it's just, high Giga. you know. It was very I... cute of NL to congratulate you on joining Shoujo, even though he has no idea what that meant. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait for the NLSSX Shoujo no way. collab. Oh man, I was, I was. So I always watch NL, right? And um, he said, "Wait, let me get the clip. You want to hear it?" Hey, Giga, congratulations, by the way, on being the newest VTuber in the V Shoujo lineup. <laughs> I even, I, I saw the announcement uh -huh. on Twitter. Right. And then I went to my Discord and I typed a, a brand new sentence. Hey, chat, what does it mean that Giga just got debuted on V Shoujo? On and they v said, Shoujo. I don't really remember, honestly, but they said it was a big deal. <laughs> so congratulations. <laughs> Funny. You say like a cameo script? Yeah. I yeah, screenshotted yeah, yeah. that message and sent it to my VTuber friends. That's not Giga who said that. That was Shiki Khan, just to be fair. But <laughs> it was funny. I actually knew about this. I didn't say anything, but I actually I actually knew that he had like seen it or was aware of it or something because when he posted in his Discord, one of one of his head mods is also a mod for me. It's just a, a friend of mine. And he sent me, um, he sent me a screenshot of it and he said, Lamau, look. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> wait, wait. Let me screenshot this for you. It was, it's just so funny to see this, uh, sent over to me. Here. What does it mean that Kiko got signed by Facebook? <laughs> and then, and I, I said to my mod, I was like, <laughs> I was like, it, it has that like old man slowly discovers this person in his chat does things vibe, right? <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> he's not that old though. He's not that old, but it had like the, it had the vibe, you know? It was just so funny. He was like, what does this mean? Because he has seen it on Twitter. <laughs> and then apparently, I'm not in his Discord, so I don't know, but apparently a bunch of people were just like, oh, it means this and remember, remember. And he's just like, okay. <laughs> but, but I know, um, Whenever I go to his chat, I try, I try not to talk too much, just like here and there for a little bit, because there's always a good number of people in there that are like, oh, hey, oh, hey, and they're like being converted to VTuber viewers. So I'm like, all right, let me, <laughs> let me be a little quieter. Hi, Mary. Make that your Twitter banner. No, no, it's my merch announcement for now. I have to leave it. This is our new strat. Pray we don't alter it further. Holy frick. Well, you know, honestly, with God as my witness, you have to run four capybaras. And fuck that guy. Are you... <laughs> You're just an 11-7 as is, which is pretty... So we're we're going to get a level up next time. I got to think about this. I'm really going to buy an 11-7 just so I can give like 3-4 to another unit for... The, for the cost of two, that's pretty good, man. Now that I think about it, that's like basically a pair. I mean, a 9-7 Ox is kind of crazy, too. We're going to get a level up next turn. The level up's not going to contain a roll, so we... Okay. I expect we will probably lose this round, but I'm okay with it because of the, the absurd scaling we've got. We're not going to lose this round, either. That's that's amazing. Also, a horrible indictment of Kapaloo's chances. Oops! That's what you get when you stream snipe me! I should get double ranking points because I got the kill shot. This has changed my life. Oh! <laughs> I don't know why I'm rolling again, but...
Yahoo! I got a star! Yippee! Next round is a big round. Because it's where we get in... I don't know why I phrased it like that. It's where we're getting chocolate. <laughs> you do a line and I do a line now, honey. You do a line and I do a line now, babe. You do a line and I'll get a pole. We'll go right down to the fishing hole. You do a line and I'll do a line now, honey. <sighs> I'm a simple man. <laughs> So it'll be like, you know, and then it'll be like, so just take down your fishing pole and meet me at the fishing hole. We might not get a bite all day, but don't you rush away. Go doom, boom, boom, doom. Swing the rest your bones. Freeze blowfish. Yeah, okay, everybody's saying no right now. Give me $5. Moose. Unfreeze shop and give one random friend plus six health for each tier one shop pet. You owe me five dollars each. Sorry, I don't make the rules. What the heck was that? So I, you know what? I appreciate this stream sniping because this guy's just memeing it up. Why would I give you money? Well, that's a fair question, honestly. I'm just being straight up with you. I'm I'm running a new piece of technology. Capybara doesn't need to be stacked anymore. We're running a raccoon just in case. This raccoon is, we call it der anti-scorpion. as German for scorpion killer. Nobody has a scorpion that we know of. So true. Das Hans, Hans Neifen. Oh, I still stole the garlic, bro. That's a big one. Might as well. Although, oh, but kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Can't you see? <sighs> Sometimes your foods just hypnotize me. I think we, we gotta go, cat. You have to take the level, you might get a cat. No cat, snake, snake pretty good too. Snake's pretty good too. Oh, you know what? We wait around, cause you need to level. Thank you for the tier ones. I very much appreciate it. Forget the ox. Freeze your tier ones. This is big. This is large. We need uh, foods. I mean, there's no freezing coming, so we're just... Again, you're going to be like, why not freeze the chocolate? I'm just asking you to think for two seconds. That's like a dream. Capybara ox. Think, use your powers. Capybara ox cat. Capybara ox cat. Fuck. We take those. It could be worse. Okay, we're in the top four. We got some other lads on lethal. Next round, I want to see hot dogs. I want to see tacos, okay? Hot dogs and tacos. It's a large lad. It's one of the largest Andes I've ever seen. Oh, man. That was, a, that was a tight one. Time to sell moose, to be honest. Now you're thinking. Now you're thinking. We're in, for now, I'm not saying we're going to win. We're in first place in the lobby. People are saying, this is why Moose is ass. What are you talking about, brother? We just eliminated prim Primal Goof here. There's only three people left in the damn lobby. It's a tactical Moose at the front. Okay, we're not even fighting. Oh, we are, but he moved his lad! I don't even think that's stream sniping resin. I think that's just sensible play. I'll, I'll, I'll take my draw, I'll take my draw. It's just, it's just the two of us, baby. We can make it if we try. Okay, you're right. You don't have to be here. <laughs> T 
team looks a little different, huh? What the heck is this? Yes! You know what we in the business we call this? We call this the anti-Doberman! <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Mm, what did he buy? It could be anything, bro. It could be, it could be anything, it could be anything! Oh, I moved him back, brother. I moved him back. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, okay. It's going to be like that then, huh? Okay, how about one of these? I'm putting the whole system on trial. This team is going to be insanity. Ox at the front? They didn't expect Ox at the front, brother. <laughs> you know what? I'm keeping my screen on next time. They're not even shuffling round around. I'm not shuffling round around. We should just embrace the insanity, man. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh! They said it couldn't be the 12 points. This is the, mo the hardest lobby of all time. I got 12. I'm 20 points down from where I started today. It's ELO hell. <laughs> I only got plus five for third place. They got, look, I'm going up against freaking Levon Aroni in here. Stroft? I heard your pronunciation of Stroopwafel, and I took it personally. Okay, now we got to be careful. We got no garlics. By the way, like, where do you get off twisting me up, brother? Somebody in chat earlier in the stream said, why do North Americans pronounce it garlic? We don't. We say garlic. We don't say garlic. Maybe in Chicago they say that, but DL Guiga's gone AWOL. Only Cosmo Kramer was on my uh, ride today. Nice to see you, by the way. Great output on that... Uh, 30-minute Cody Rigsby pop ride. Americans say it. I don't think they do. They say garlic. In Chicago, they just drop the syllable altogether. They say garlic. <laughs> that doesn't sound real. Gallic. Can I get some gallic sauce? Do they say it like that? That's Boston. That's right. Let me get some garlic sauce on my fish and chips. I will say it's crazy, like... We went to a community barbecue, I don't know, like a month ago. And it was cheap, okay? Like, this is not like a, oh, imagine how much, how expensive things are in Vancouver. For, like, barbecue standards, this was definitely pretty cheap, okay? At the community barbecue, bottle of water, chips, hot dog or hamburger, five bucks. For all three in Vancouver, Canadian dollars, that's a pretty good bargain these days, okay? But I can't turn off the part of my brain that's like, it should be four fifty for the hot dog combo and it should be five bucks for the hamburger combo because one hamburger and one hot dog are not equivalent. Three hot dogs is worth two hamburgers. I know that's like, it's, there's some indivisibility going on there, but I, I, I mean, sometimes math doesn't fit into your pretty little box. It's definitely not two hot dogs for one hamburger, but it's like one and a half hot dogs for one hamburger. Also, I can't turn off the part of my brain that like the whole thing was run by volunteers. They had a bunch of high school boys running the, the barbecue stand. You go buy a ticket, that you give the ticket to them. They say, do you want a hamburger or a hot dog? And then you say, I'll take a hamburger. And then they shout it to the person on the grill. The person on the grill plates it and gives it to you. The whole thing was run, it was fucking chaos back there you gotta they would never make it these kids would not have stood a chance in played up that's all i'm saying i was like you get me in here i understand you you're probably like light on volunteers for this kind of thing right here you get me behind there 
I'll be making conversation. I'll be, hey, two hamburgers. Then you're sitting there waiting for your hamburgers to come out. I'd be checking on it too. I'd be like, hey, you got this guy's hamburgers, right? And they'd be like, oh, sorry. I was uh, watching a TikTok or something, whatever the fucking, you know what I'm talking about. He instantly sounds old. It's not my fault that like, they weren't good at their job. <laughs> they were their volunteer job. <laughs> It was also like, I mean, I don't know. I get that they're volunteers, but I think when you're volunteers, you still have to like try, unless I'm an insane person. I don't think you get to like volunteer and then just like slack off. Like there was a volunteer running the bouncy castle. All they had to do was keep the bouncy castle zipped up. And then when a kid came up to it, unzip it. Why does that person exist? So no three-year-olds go out like Ralph Wiggum and smash their head on the concrete floor. You need the zipper there, so if they bounce into the door, they don't fly out. The dude um, managing the bouncy castle was not keeping the thing zipped up. He was on his phone, and the, he kept the thing like fully unzipped the whole time. I was just watching these kids like come three centimeters away from oblivion. They'd never be the same, man. Then they got a new, he was like, my shift's over. They got a new kid. The kid managed it for like a minute and a half, and then he just started looking at the clock. And I'm like, dude... Come on. When I was a kid, if you manned the canteen, you gave it your all, okay? Someone said, hey, give me two orange crushes. You say, that'll be two bucks. They give you a five. You already had three loonies prime to give them back. You said, enjoy the rest of the air show. You worked at the air show? You think I didn't do any volunteering at Norman Rogers Airport? What do you take me for? Oldest 30-year-old ever? Brother, have you seen the state of the world? I don't take it as an insult anymore. It's like a privilege to be a 34-year-old who acts like a 34-year-old. <laughs> like, Corey's 40. And dude's still taking pictures of stuff at the grocery store that say, like, you know, creamy tomato. And then going, what the hell is this? Should I buy this? The man who freezes his jeans is 40? I know, it's, like, really funny. <laughs> okay, okay, you got me, you got me. I told you I was coming fifth. Did, any, did anyone else get eliminated at the same time? No. Minus two. That's perfect. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny, actually. That's pretty funny. I also, I have not volunteered yet. Maybe when my kid is in school. But I definitely do see myself in the next three months becoming one of those dudes who, whenever he's outside, well, whenever I take my kid to the playground, at least, I'm going to be carrying around a, like a little bag to put garbage in. The shit is driving me crazy. So the playground... So I, I'll just covered in water bottles, juice boxes, old potato chip bags. And like, I, if it's kids that are doing it, then whatever, man. But I think that what it is a lot of the time is it's like people had their kid's birthday party at the playground and then they like did a shit job of cleaning up, in which case you failed as an adult. But that's all right. I'm a little busy, but I got no problems picking up. I'll, I'll, I'll handle my own shit and I'll pick up your slack as well until you get your head screwed on straight, you piece of crap. Don't worry, I got it. There's a lot of functional adults out here that are, um, we, you know, we're used to, to carrying a couple people along with us, quite frankly. <clears throat> do your playgrounds not have staff that clean it? I mean, they probably do, but they might swing by like once every few days. I'd rather just pick it up myself and put it in the garbage can. I did, I, I, not only did I see the trailer for the Tucker Carlson interview with a guy who said he had sex with Barack Obama in 1999, I linked it in the content creator Discord and said this might be the funniest video of all time. Then I added an addendum just so they made sure I was based. I said, just so you know, there's no way this is real, but the only way it could be funnier is if it was. And then everyone said base, 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 base. So true. You're just a guy who's in town for the night, and it sounds like you're looking to party. Yeah. Pulled up in a bar outside, and there's this guy that's introduced to me as Barack Obama. I had given Barack $250 to pay for Coke. I start putting a line on a CD tray to snort, and next thing I know, he's got a little pipe and he's smoking. So I just started rubbing my hand along his thigh to see where it was going, and it went the direction I had intended it to go. Even though you had sex with him twice, you did cocaine with him, watched him smoke crack twice. You had no idea who he was. I had no idea who he was. Let me just ask the obvious question. What was Obama like on crack? Um, is, is it your sense that that's who Obama is, just transactional, or that he's bisexual, or like, what is this? It definitely wasn't Barack's first time, and I would almost be willing to bet you it wasn't as long.
The guy's running for president and credible information comes out that he's smoking crack and having sex with dudes. That seems like a story. Well, it would be a story if the media really cared about telling people the truth. I don't get it. Well, you watch the trailer, you'll be like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's Tucker Carlson interviewing a guy who claims he had gay sex with Obama in 1999. And the interview is, <laughs> the editing is so good. So I paid Barack Obama $20 for cocaine. And next thing I knew, he pulled out a pipe and started smoking it. Shoom, shoom, shoom. Then I started reaching my hand up his thigh and thought I'd see where this goes. And it went where I thought it would go. And then Tucker Carlson says, so let's ask the question everybody's thinking. By the way, nobody is thinking this. What was Obama like on crack? And then the dude's face just goes like, and, it, and then it like hard cuts. Is this a comedy edit? No, it's coming out like, I don't know, at some point. I'm not going to watch it. I'll, I'll see some clips or something, I'm sure. <sighs> One capybara is no longer doing enough for us. Don't get overly attached to the capybara. Like overly attached girlfriend. Remember that? Can you do overly attached girlfriend face? I can try. I can try. How's it? Close? Close? Pretty good. Where's the smile? She has a bit of a forward lean. Thumbnail face. Yeah. <laughs> it's... You got a level... Dude, there's mooses on everybody. You got a bison, but you got no... You got no tier three, man. I've been there myself. Everybody's got mooses. Mises? Mies? Hear me out here. Mooses should be the real way to say it. Gooses should be the real way to say it. Deers should be the real way to say it. Mouses should be the real way to say it. Because why not? Oh, when Scipio Africanus invented Latin back in... Fuck that dude! Fuck Scipio Africanus! Fuck Scipio Africanus! Get it going, guys! Get it going! Actually, that part of English is based on Germanic languages. So if anything, we should be saying, fuck Odoacer. Okay, fuck Odoacer. Fuck Odoacer. You ever think about how messed, it, messed up it is? Like, we're reworking the whole English language to be, like, less offensive. And that's fine. When are we going to tackle the word barbarian? Because I got to feel like maybe one of the reasons that, like, the Ostrogoths and the Visigoths were so mad at Rome is they were like, hey, what do you call us? And Rome was like, oh, it's really funny. We call you barbarians. And then we're like, okay, oh, that's cool. What a cool word. What does that mean? And it's like, oh, it's stupid pieces of shit who have like no manners and no culture and they're bloodthirsty savages and they're... <laughs> they fucking eat dirt and poop in a hole next to a tree or something like that. No wonder they were like, we're crossing the Rubicon. They were probably like, um, excuse me. <laughs> fuck you. Where the fuck do you get off? Betch. Did you ever read Caesar's writings on the Gallic Wars? Um, I watched the movie. I don't want to say you have to hand it to uh, Caesar. He's a different kind of leader though, right? Like when Joe Biden wants to declare war on a country, his ass does not put on a helmet and go <laughs> over the, the, the wall, you know? He's just like, you just got droned, Andy. Caesar, he was, it was a different era, man. Caesar was like, hey, get in, losers. We're going to kill Vercingetorix. You're absolutely right. There's no shot. If, if Caesar, if Biden played in Caesar's era... He is not putting up 30 points per game. That's a given. Hey, NL, what are your... Oh, sorry, this is not... This is from Josh. That's not an NL moment. That's a Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan, what are your thoughts on the idea that the gladiator... Uh, the idea of gladiator combat that we have of them fighting to the death is largely a misnomer and actually was probably more like professional wrestling? Um, I would say I'm happy for them that they weren't out there mostly killing each other, for sure. I don't have any other thoughts. 
but I think it's a great question. Would you have gone to gladiatorial combat if you lived in the ancient days? It's just me and claim. I'm second place, baby. <laughs> I definitely think I would have. You know what reinforces it for me? When we play Texas Chainsaw Massacre, why am I even thinking like I have a chance? I didn't even adjust like the position of my team whatsoever. <laughs> I'll take second. In Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Apollo and Corey, yes! They kept saying like, why do we have to watch this cutscene? It's so brutal. And I was like, it's not that I'm like watching the cutscene and I'm like, oh, mm, sweet violence and rain. But when I'm watching it, I'm like, I'm unaffected. So I definitely think if someone was like, hey, you want to see like the dude fight a lion? Being immersed in that culture and the and the, the zeitgeist of the time in the year fucking zero, I probably would have been like, hell yeah, brother, I'll bring the garum or whatever they were eating back then. Would you join Brutus and Cassius in murdering Caesar? I think I would have been like... Oh no, wait, <laughs> hang on. Hey NL, I just wanted to say my engineering team has never felt as heard as we did with your product manager bit the other day. Okay, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I thought you were gonna say the bit that I was, uh, that I did about uh, Slash Moment being deprecated because nobody used it even though they only rolled it out to like 1% of Twitch partners, much less like people who actively stream. Be a cartoony fella. And I was like, you shouldn't bring that up at work because people might laugh, but then feelings might get hurt. I have the distance, at least, from the, from the organization. I can make a joke, and then if they got mad, I'd be like, it's just a joke. I tell lots of jokes. I'm just a funny guy. Me, me when the guy who I, I said, you, you're a loser. You suck. You are living your life in a way that's bereft of meaning, trying to maximize every moment. Me, when he says, hey, you can have this one for free, I'll hop in the DMs. Hey, I'm sorry if my comments offended you. I was just trying to have a funny joke. And I'm <laughs> so I'll, be, I'll delete the clip if you want me to. <clears throat> what was I talking about before with the gladiator stuff? I can't remember. Oh, would I have murdered Caesar? I'll be honest with you. I think like I probably would have been like, let's not murder Caesar. But then like if it was clear that the tide was turning and we were gonna murder Caesar, I think I would have, I mean, I don't wanna get murdered myself. So I would probably be like, me too guys. But then like as they were stabbing him, I think I would have like, it's like when you sing happy birthday at an office or something like that, I would have just been going like, I would have been doing the motions, but I wouldn't have actually been sticking the knife in. I would have just been like part of the ruckus. You know, like in hockey, when like two people fight, so the rest of the team, like everybody goes and grabs someone their size on the other team and just sort of holds them and skates around like this for a while. And they go like, that would have been me. I would have been like, get him, get him. After Caesar was killed, the senators who didn't stab him artificially stained their clothes so it looked like they participated. See, that's what I'm saying. People in history, that's why history is so interesting is because they're just like us, man. And I think there's a lot of reasons that, that I think history is interesting. I hate the idea that like, whenever you take high school history class, you have to write an essay on like why history is important. Here's why history is important. Because your ass wasn't born at the Big Bang, okay? So you're showing up way late for a party that's been going on forever. And you're looking around, hey, how did the borders get drawn like this? Hey, why do we do X like that? Why do we do Y like this? Study some history and then you're like, oh, now I get it, you know. 100,000 years of, of people going grrr, or people going meh, you know. Everything you see around you, you know, is with, within reason, is there for a purpose, you know, and that purpose was deigned by people who essentially are genetically almost exactly the same as us. Functionally, I guess they're exactly the same as us. Imperceptible differences. I, uh... I know this is like anti-Canadian. I don't think some 41 is very good, but I think Offspring have some bangers. The, they got, you can pinpoint the exact moment that the Offspring got washed. I don't think it's when they wrote Pretty Fly for a White Guy. I think it's when Pretty Fly for a White Guy went to number one and they decided, wait, we don't have to write good songs. We can just write joke songs and people will pay us money. 
But like back in the in the '90s, you know, come out and play, self-esteem. Even some of the songs that are on Americana, right? Like uh, "Kids Are All Right." Like those are songs. Without being rude, like those are songs where they were trying to make like good, maybe even meaningful songs. And then by the time original prankster comes out, you know it smells like shit. God damn. Tag team the double header. Son of Sam. Fire. He says he's down in the Bahamas. No way. In little mamas. It's the, it, it bops? It does not bop. I'm sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uncertify your ability to certify a bop. Self-censoring? Bro, not me doing a, a Jen Sherman 30-minute ride. I forget, maybe it was 80s ride, maybe it was 90s ride. Played the censored version of Gin and Juice by Snoop Dogg. The whole song is just... With so much drama in the LBC, kind of hard being Snoop D-O-double-G. But I, somehow, some way, keep coming up with like every single day. May I kick a little something for the G's and as I breeze through to it, I got getting it on and they ain't leaving till six in the morning. What you want to do? I got a pocket full of in my home. It's just like impossible. Also, why are they censoring? Like, well, I, I get that it's, you're going to say, because America. But they do it in Canada, too. So, like, I'm, I'm not going to hit you with a false dilemma or something. But, like, it doesn't really make sense to me why we're censoring the word rubbers. Because OMG sex? I mean, the album's called Doggy Style. <laughs> yeah, but imagine a kid listen to that song. Imagine my... My 17-year-old son, Gareth, listened to that song, and he didn't know what condoms were, and he said, what's a, what's a rubber? And I had to explain that it was a euphemism for a prophylactic. And then I'd have to give him the whole talk. You're listening to... They shouldn't censor hip-hop music because you're listening to hip-hop music. But the song, the, the part of the culture of hip-hop, not all of it, but part of the culture of hip-hop... There's some weapons, there's some violence, there's some drugs, there's some fornicating, okay? Now, if you're listening to fucking Ed Sheeran, and then all of a sudden he says, like, pull out a Jimmy and get my dick wet, you'd be like, maybe we'll censor that, because this is like his target audience is eight years old. But <laughs> for, <laughs> I mean, for hip hop, it just doesn't make sense to me. Ed Sheeran said the F word in a song. Wow, what is he, like four years old? I heard like a seven-year-old kid tell another seven-year-old kid to eat his balls at the playground yesterday. It's nothing. I walked Bob Dylan out on stage. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, okay. This is, it doesn't get any more super lethal than this. I opened the stream in front of my parents. You instantly swore and started talking about weed. I mean, if you're old enough to be watching the stream, you're probably old enough for your parents to know that um, you occasionally watch some content with swears in it. Would be my take on that personally. He's not in yet. He's not, I'm, not, I'm not showing the screen. I'm not giving it to you for free. You got three more of I did four in my with my fingers there. You got some off me for free, you're not getting this one for free. Get shuffled, get shuffled. We're so back. Okay, nice draw. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then you just gotta, you just gotta roll with the baby. Just, you don't need to see the screen. Just imagine what the best move would have been, and then that's what I did. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
Wow, it's crazy how much my results improved when I started hiding my screen 1v1, huh? Well, 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 what a delightful little A-B test for the, for the Super Auto Pets community. It's been so rude about my skill level throughout my career. Big Booba's real. I don't know where it came up. It was in... <laughs> it was... <laughs> I don't know if it was on Twitter or if it was in Discord or what, but... Someone said the phrase big naturals. It got me laughing so hard. It must have been on stream, right? Because I think I remember saying, like, imagine being like a 72 year old man and like typing big naturals into Google search. It's so fucking funny. Slime's been saying that a ton. Maybe I got it from them. <laughs> big naturals, man. It's such a funny phrase. Chib said it on his stream too. Oh, man. Big Naturals, it's coming back. I'm not touching the melee discourse, man. I know it's some, I'm too smart for that. Do I know everything about the melee discourse? Because I follow Slime and Ludwig, and as a result, the algorithm's like, this guy must fucking love melee? Yeah, exactly. I think I, I follow Slime, Ludwig, Tafo, Void. I'm, I, they, they, this algorithm thinks I'm obsessed with Smash Bros, dude. Hbox, I do follow Hbox. You got me on that one. Did it switch from NBA Twitter? Now that I think about it, I've gotten a lot less NBA-related discourse. Uh, the last big viral NBA thing that I saw was um, America losing to Lithuania. How long will you call it Twitter for, you think? Probably forever. It's not like a... A, a, a political statement. I'm not like, oh, you know, I don't support the name change. It's just like, it was Twitter for 12, 15 years, something like that. It's still the fucking Sky Dome. It's not Rogers Arena. I do my best to call the Canucks Arena GM Place. Because if I didn't, I would call it Rogers Arena. And now you're like, there's like 1,500 Rogers Arenas on in Canada. So like, you know, it's just confusing at this point. It's not that I don't respect naming rights. It's that whatever the name was when I was 13 years old will be what the name is for me forever. It's great. I don't know if you were trying to emphasize my point or not, but it's true. If you ask, what, it, what is the Ottawa Senators arena right now? If I had to guess, I think it's called the Canadian Tire Center. But for me, it will always be the Corral Center. Nothing like going to a Senators game in like 1998 and being like, I know this, the Corral Center, bro. They make word perfect. The superior text processing executable for PC. Sears Tower? What's it called now? T-Mobile Park will always be Safeco Field to me. It's just the way it, you, you can't relearn that stuff every like seven years or something like that. It's just too much, man. I don't care how much money they spend. Like the same thing in my hometown. When they built a, a new arena for the junior hockey team to play, they called it the K-Rock Center. The naming rights went to a radio station because that was the, the state of media in the year 2007, 2008. You could still... A radio station could afford naming rights for like a relatively major stadium in the regional area at least. Now, I don't know when it happened. A few years ago, it became the Leon's Center. I'm sorry. I have nothing against Leon's. I'm not calling it that. Because it's not the Leon's Center. It's the K-Rock Center. When they built it, it was the K-Rock Center. It will be the K-Rock Center forever. Oh, baby, we made it. Top four, we're probably getting ELO. I'll buy a taco, we need a tack. And I would love to see chocolate or a mousse. Chocolate or a mousse on this last roll. That's a tough, with only a couple slots remaining, you know, the odds aren't good, but. Oh my God, they added ranked. Yes, and I'm finally validated of being at least in the top 10% of all Super Auto Pets players worldwide. Things you love to see, dot gif, dot me. Top three, baby. Do you remember every lyric you hear? 
honestly, not even close. What I will say is I was wondering, like, A, I think I listened to the radio a lot growing up. It was more the culture back then. Um, and when you're, well, that sucks. <laughs> when you're a kid, you just remember stuff more easily for sure. Um, the other thing I was like, man, how do I know so many lyrics? And I was like, it's because I'm doing two hours of Peloton rides a day. I'm literally like listening to music relatively undistracted for like 14 hours a week. And it's not even music I really enjoy most of the time. What I'm trying to say is nobody on earth is as strong as I am. Oh my god, we got a chance, man! How does the mode work with uh, odd numbers of individuals? Um, you get a... Um, you fight a clone. If you beat the clone, you get the win. If you lose to the clone, you get the loss. Oh, we're top two! The worst, though, is when you go up against someone's clone and that person got eliminated, but their clone beats you. And you're like, really? I'm losing a, a heart to somebody that's not even in the game anymore? Now, I think it's fair, but it, it, it does hurt. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Lost to a clone, like in the prestige? Excuse me, sir. Nobody lost to a clone in the prestige, okay? Christian Bale didn't have a clone. He had an identical twin brother. And Hugh Jackman made clones. But my personal interpretation is that even though it's a 50 50 shot that it's him or the clone in the water tank, I think that Hugh Jackman was just so cracked that he fucking did that shit every time. I think he dodged the bullet every single time, personally. You may have a different interpretation, but I mean, honestly, that's your, that's your business. <laughs> wasn't the point that we couldn't know. Maybe that was the point for you. That wasn't the point for me. The point for me was that Hugh Jackman's such a good magician. He just beats the odds. Why would I ever, why would I ever change my order? What was I thinking? I don't think they're stream sniping, man. Because they're going in so fast. This is the, we found the only honorable sapper. Which means I probably should have mixed up, you know, the way I was running the squad. Yep. <laughs> It, it doesn't matter if Hugh Jackman's in the box because he and his clone have the same ambition. Yeah, it doesn't matter to the audience, but it matters to me if I'm Hugh Jackman. Oh, that's potentially valuable. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, man. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. You think, you think? I have reworked the squad. Pray I don't rework it any further. This is for all the Marbies. <laughs> Black screen tech stays undefeated, man. Hang on, I really gotta go pee. Slash marker is sap. I'll be right back. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Yeah, you can have no, your, your oh, lock pick freak, no. Justin. You can no. have your little lock freak. Can so I, I show the screen now? I'm assuming I yeah. can, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Are, you, are you a Leland main, Ryan? No, not, I guess, actually. You not. guys have mains? Oh, I thought you, I thought you, you guys nah, are all nah, sweats nah. of this game. I know. Nah, nah, I'm, nah. I'm level zero. <laughs> I actually played this game for, uh, like on the weekend, actually, so uh, I have <laughs> some understanding. I have some understanding, guys. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wait. Who can I Don't worry. Okay, See, Justin's level zero, Ryan's Amazing. level zero. It's just Corey who's the sweat, right? Like, level, this level is the nine, only character man. I've what? played. It's the only character. Yeah, you're, you're Ryan's level 18. No, no, no. I'm talking about the character level. The character yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. 
Oh, it's cold. Oh. Okay, we're allowed to try hard chili because two v four is hard. So we can try. We don't 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 make that. Don't let them make you feel bad when you have them trapped and you kill them. No, you should feel bad. You should feel terrible if that happens. Honestly, yeah. yeah. I can't nah. wait to stab Grandpa repeatedly. What the no. fuck? Yeah, good luck, Bozo. We don't even <laughs> need Grandpa. Honestly, I'm I think gonna... when you only have two, you don't have time to fuck with Grandpa. I'm gonna main Grandpa. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we about... went there. <laughs> this is me sexting a very old celebrity <laughs> that doesn't the have the any rules. Hey, can <laughs> hey Grandpa, can I level you up? <laughs> Ellen, you gotta understand that this this group is grandpa. like if everyone no, this was is Steve, great. you know this what I mean? Great. Like, <laughs> this is me, great. me <laughs> texting back, Chibli, uh, please show me your big naturals uh, emoji of man sticking <laughs> tongue out. Those are my big naturals. I'm, I'm big coming naturals. to get those big those naturals. Those <laughs> my, I claim those big naturals. Oh, I own man. those big naturals. <laughs> Oh, oh Lord. Uh, the big naturals have a replying because I'm blatant. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I made the clutch move of ordering Ooh. us big naturals at 1 a.m. <laughs> Grandpa is getting see oh anyone. Get, get in there, get in there. Don't, oh, don't, don't worry, Chibli. I'm about to show you them. <laughs> No. Dude, so every cool. time, dude. Worst, every time. Again, it the worst time, bro. <laughs> Ew, he loves it. He's nasty. We didn't even open a door. I'm dead, guys. Oh my god. You're dead. You are dead. I'm yeah. watching your, your body vibrate in. That's yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, that. Jimmy's hell? too good at Leatherface. I it told you, you, we, you can't let this guy play Leatherface, man. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love Chibi. I, I, I will be victim for the rest of the day. No. No, you can be killer. Okay, be just, I guess you just can't be Leatherface. Did you guys get I a can't door? mute. I have to cough. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, coughing. Oh, was that I'm to cover sorry, up your sorry. fart? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> guys, like, when you're a survivor, what is, what is your aim other than just to survive? Like, what, what you gotta is get out. My head just went through like my asshole and it killed me. It was cool. Corey, it's electrified, man. I know. Can I cut it? Just uh, cut it all the way just back. Right -click the other end. Just right click it. Just right click it. For real? No. Nope. It is. Oh, no. Over. Ow. It's, no. <laughs> you can hit them back. Only this guy. Just, just, just this character. character can, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Get back here, man. Do not Smell jump you later. In that way. Do not jump <laughs> Smell in you that later. Way. Let's go. Let's oh go. my god. This guy really wants you guys to wait another 10 minutes. My legs. Oh my lord. Okay. My legs. You're about to be detected by grandpa. It doesn't matter. You can't do anything. I can't do anything. I think he broke his legs. Corey's oh, at what the, the gate. Hell? He's leaving. That well teleports you. <laughs> oh, Corey's escaping. <laughs> oh, good job, Corey. They didn't oh, think you could do Corey. it. Didn't think you'd get past that gate. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> he's, shut he's, up. In, he's in the basement, Chibli. Don't worry. Don't, I lost don't him, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. The chainsaw put too much smoke in my eyes and he disappeared. Jesus, Grandpa, shut up. Hi. Oh. Can't save you after all. What? It's all disgusting. Why'd you make it gross? He's upstairs. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh my god, the controls. Oh my god, his go survivor on. instinct moves, is so the strong. Moves, the moves. I need calls, man! He's getting he's out, upstairs. he's almost out! Oh my <laughs> Where are you gonna go, man? <laughs> nowhere! There's nowhere the to go! Exit. Attic exit, there's a bird. Is there another staircase? <laughs> yeah, there's another staircase. He ran out the front door. Jesus I think. Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs> what does that do? Leave him alone! No, come on! They'll never find me! <laughs> He's up the road! Oh He's my up god, the road. He's so good! <laughs> if you go down that damn well again, I swear to Wait, god, Corey, you, can beat up, you can Corey? beat up Sissy. Oh man. Don't you Corey, do it. Do not do Don't it. you do it. <laughs> he's, you. he's got no other option, man. Corey, it's going to kill you. Smell you down in the hole. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this. We're so back. He's dead, though, right? Like... Oh, guys, disgusting down here. Yeah, he passed away. You guys should put your chainsaw away and your knife. Oh my god, how are you still alive? That's Leland, bro. He's the quarterback of the high school football team. 
There ain't no fucking health down here. <laughs> he's 5'9", 132 pounds. He's built like a brick shit house. Man, you died a long time ago here, huh, Ryan? Yeah, I don't know, like a half hour ago or something. Yeah, well... Look, <laughs> I did think the game would end by now. Maybe yeah. if there was three well, killers. Someone keeps jumping down a fucking well. <laughs> He's about to run out the uh, big road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy cow, how'd you get the generator off so fast? What? Where He's the cracked. fuck? He's cracked. <laughs> Dude, this POV, man. <laughs> There's so much. There's so many, like, little twists and turns in this one. This is incredible. I've never seen a survivor. Justin, like you need this. to play the face. What? Oh, I thought you were like uh, saying I'm blind. No, no, no. I was, I was oh. like commending Corey for being brave. Yeah, he's kind of killing it, dude. Found ya. Oh, oh no. No, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, he's getting out of his own <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm griefing the killers, I'm griefing this the killers. fucking POV, man. You're griefing your friends too, bro. <laughs> oh, this owns. Where did you go? I don't I have no fuck. Grandpa. Oh, there you are, you little bastard. I hate oh, the bring you see Bruce Dude, what a dodge. <laughs> what are you what a dodge. Please finish him. <laughs> Can you show by jumping down the well? End, no, he just died right in front of me because he bled out as I fought. You'll never got take me alive. You'll never take me <laughs> alive. Zero kills. That's great. That's great. Oh, <laughs> that's good stuff. He died of shock. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Oh, oh after God. all that. <laughs> Death by bleed out. Oh, well, Ellen, you want to be a killer? Hell yeah. Oh, all right. I had this feeling you'd want to. I had this seems like something mm -hmm. you'd want to do. Oh, I still can't I, find I, the lockpick again. I'm in the old conundrum. Found I found an important, important piece of uh, material for that. Okay, guys, uh, Ryan is padlocking the other exit this time. Just the FYI, I'm giving us. Now he's going back to the original exits. one because now he's self-conscious. I'm looking for blood. What is now he's going back to the one he padlocked because he doesn't. Hey Apollo, what is Sissy's middle mouse? <laughs> it lets her look around and see where everything is. Oh, Corey, there's oh, one near oh, Grandpa. They... There's one near Grandpa? Oh, I see somebody. They're right oh, in front I of tried. me. I tried. I tried. He tried it. Oh, I see where they are. Can you not close do the I door? Why do you there? make me open it again? Let's make it harder for you, man. <laughs> oh, you free? You're supposed oh to be chasing God. someone else. God, Justin's sure got me this? fucking killed. <laughs> this is a bad way to come up. My they're all no, in the, they're all in the shack, dude. Die. They're all in the shack. Die. God damn it, Justin. Got it, son! Yes! Yes! yes. 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 Thank you. you are so... Run, whoever this person is, I, I will beat you. I opened the door, no, Justin are. opened yes, it, die. and then closed me behind it. Wait, what That's do you mean so closed you behind it? You closed no, the door, I had to reopen it, man. and the Leatherface was there. Oh, oh Leatherface right here, right here, right here. Right here. Yes. 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 yes! 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 What'd you do, open the door, and you unlocked it and just walked away? I went to see another lockpick. Yeah, I didn't fucking know that. Dead. Why would I know that? Don't close the door behind you. Oh, Why hey. wouldn't I close the door behind you? There's fucking another face down there. He wasn't even <laughs> near you. In man. what world, world would I not do that? Well, maybe think oh, that maybe someone oh. opened that door for a reason, man. <gasps> I, I figured them. you went up and yes, closed it. Yes, they're right it. here. <laughs> oh, they ran away. No. Well, Chibli, I don't have high hopes for you here, man. Damn. Come here. Run. Wait, this is not. Oh God damn it! I keep thinking. Wait, wait, wait! Don't follow me. It's <laughs> over. Hmm. Go around the back of the house, and uh, the now, okay. now closer to the front of. They're in the well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're in a well. They're in the well. High school musical reference. Oh, he's on me! On me! I'm so far away. Are you wrestling? I'm gonna beat your ass, bitch. <laughs> I spit on your on face! Me. I spit on your face! How did you do this? Uh, I, I didn't do anything though. Oh. <laughs> I still got stunned. She's in. You see her. You see her. Where the bloody hell are the stairs? I'm not getting out. I'm not getting out. Yes. You are. You're doing it. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> I died on purpose because I knew I was going to get out, so I let you kill me. <laughs> hmm. 
Let's go. See, did, did the, you see the, the beast box there, though? Listen. Oh, we yeah, did, did it, guys. We maybe it was a little stacked in the killer's favor, but I also feel like Chibli blew up his entire team's spot. He was trolling no, me in I, the shack. He was going tee hee hee. He was doing this tee hee hee era. <laughs> Next time, I, I I spend 13 seconds looking for Chibli, and then all three survivors just popped out of a cloud from nothingness, <laughs> and we're all right there. I don't think that's my fault. They have a middle click ability, which can see what I'm doing on the map. I you can't know. fucking. What are you talking about? You can. Everyone can. Dude, I do want to say though, trolling killers is a valid strategy that no one is recognizing. He, he keeps saying that. How do you troll them? Like, what I'm just you, happy I wasn't on his team when he did it. He's uh, running around. Uh, <laughs> my, here comes the. I guess I'll go finger myself. No, like, I'll go yeah. die. I'll go <laughs> die. Finger myself, bro. <laughs> No, it is because say like there's like three other teammates and I'm keeping one killer busy for like a minute. They've got so much room to explore. Chibli, when he's not on my team, I'm running meta, leather face, uh, full rev, one hit KO build. I found you in two seconds. Chibli, when he's on my team, I'm going to stand in front of grandpa and crouch up and down for 90 seconds straight. <laughs> and say balls on your forehead, balls on your forehead, balls on your forehead. <laughs> Dude, the, the, the DBD and uh, TCM pros are going to be like, Chibli is right in this argument. And that's who I want validation from, not the people that don't know how to play this game. Okay? I don't care. Whoa. Well, Holy. Chib's getting the real gamer hours out here, man. Yep. Yep. He's pulling out the gamer hey, card. I, I feel like that meat hook would have killed this guy. I'd like to apologize. The middle mouse button doesn't do anything. Your big yeah, naturals so. versus my meat hook. Who wins? Level, wow. level one. Naturals. Yeah, well, Jesus I don't know. Christ. Depends what you consider yeah, winning, wow. I guess. It's not Jesus. the first time they've been pierced, buddy. Yeah, alluding that my naturals are pierced. Yeah, wait a minute. I think if your naturals are pierced, they're no longer natural. Those are part artificial. Oh, oh shit. True. <laughs> true. Altered. All the big alterds. Do you think you could pierce two big naturals and then like uh, connect electricity to the outside of the piercing and then arc a like arc of electricity between the naturals? You might die. Well, that's fucking might die. sick, bro. It would be kind of sick, naturals? I guess. It'd be a hell of a way to go. That should be a killer in a video game. And Again, the electrocute would like the arc of the naturals. I the only thing I would take issue the with is arc. that those are not naturals. Then the arc of the naturals. That was an Indiana Jones movie they had to scrap. Yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's ready up and. I like his tie. I'm assuming this is LG. Mm, yeah, probably, LG, yeah. LG or SLG. What the fuck's that mean? Second last With the game. The PULG. Ah. Second last. Six lost. I think it. I think it stands for RU. I thought it was slug. Yeah, slug. someone's on RU right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Roo, roo, roo. Does, does it taste it like ready up? The hell? <laughs> oh, it wasn't a dog joke. It was a ready up joke. It's both, I guess. Yeah. Uh, then there was a dentist office, an LCBO, uh, a shopper's drug mart. And a bargain herald, Holy which was uh, then turned into byway, and right. there was a CIBC yeah. bank as well. Did, did Harold sell Ready Up? No, <laughs> he uh, he sold uh, heavily discounted merchandise. When you get a sub at cheap, Subway, did you ask for extra Ready Up? <laughs> no, no, I did not, Mal. But uh, I used to be able to smoke in there because this, this is like high, right? I don't know what's wrong like, with tips, uh, man. It's like a 19, uh, it was like 1994, 1995. Used to be able to smoke in the subway. I'm starting to think this so you, guy is sour cream. Did plays. you get addicted to Ready Up in high school and that's why you're so adverse to it today, right now? Uh, what? Oh, sorry. Ready Up. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering. Do you know what? I wasn't even wondering. I was just lost in my own thoughts. That's my favorite. That's a, what the hell is this armadillo? What is that? Um, who the freak killed the armadillo, dude? What the heck? It was. Why did it look like a plastic toy? What's your guys' favorite sip clips? I'm I'm a I'm a fan of uh, sips laughs at Justin burping. That's the best he laughed clip of all so time. much at that. One oh my god! Ones. I need to watch this Justin clip. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just see this. What is it? <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my fucking god, man! <laughs> 
what happened to Sip? He died. Yeah, RIP, Sips. Uh, Very unfortunate. Rip, rip to a real one, man. Yeah. A, uh, a hoverboarding accident. He was the guy on the plane who had all that diarrhea. They had to turn around. Oh, I my thought you were going to say he was the guy in the sub. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, he just really got it. He had to know, man. Oh, hey, guys. Okay. <laughs> Two kills is hard because when you spawn in as the one that's not Leatherface, mm. you have like a thousand jobs. Oh, the to-do list no, is crazy. This is the worst time for this. Oh. Okay. I'm going, guys. I'm going. Get up here already. But where did you guys go? We stood still so that we didn't alert Grandpa to our location. Oh. Oof. Oh. <gasps> no. No. No, please. Let me down. Let me down. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm I collected dying. some. Oh, Justin, I'm did dying. you climb up through? Oh that? no. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking bloodbath. It's a fucking bloodbath. You did. Chainsawing Ellen to death. What the hell, dude? You did. Wait, what happened, guys? I uh, climbed up a ladder in between Chainsaw Man. I was killing. Uh, I was killing Elm <laughs> right as he climbed up into me. Yeah. My lads, what's going on there, Ryan? Hey, how are you feeling? I, I feel. I'm feeling very dead soon. Uh, I'm not feeling amazing for sure, but the fact that there's two of us means that there's a shot. I, I feel like you could never pick the front door lock. It's just impossible. That's why you can jump out the window. It's an awesome. It's an awesome. Yeah, if you if you're not about to die. But you guys uh, kind of smacked me sick. Basement ex. <gasps> He's done the fuse. Hang on, I've got an, a thousand mile hike to get back to the house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My ass is so lost. <laughs> I'm, I'm, as the killer, I am also lost. You don't know how to get back to the basement? How? Oh, was he in the basement? No, he's fucking with me. No, one was upstairs, bro. <laughs> mm -mm. Bye, Grampy. Bye, Grampy. Big Grampy. I, I've given oh. you so much time, man. Oh I'm just going to let you guys know. Like, they, they just did not listen to what I said. I've noticed, but Ooh, I also don't know how to get sucks. out. Leatherface sucks. <laughs> oh, Where are they? Oh, this is a dead end, huh? They just might put a dead end of the game. That's cool. Okay. We've lost him. We've lost one. I, you know, I can't. You can't beat that. And then there was one. And then there was the dead. One. The dead end is pretty bad. I locker. don't know what you're supposed to do in this. You can knock it out. How That's am I supposed yeah, to pick need, either see, of those yeah, locks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, the back one's unlocked. Right? <sighs> no, because there's a gate out there, and you have to unlock the gate. The intense music. Is he still in the basement? Is he still in the basement, guys? Maybe. No, he's, he's up top. He's up top. Something pretty tragic happened that I won't say until after. Oh, did he break his lock? It closed. <laughs> he 100% got to the basement exit and it closed right in front of him. Oh, no. That's my prediction. Uh, lock it in. Final answer. What? How did... Wait. That's insane. Did I run past That's him? insane. That's it, insane. No, you didn't just run past him. You were on top of him. <laughs> like you stared Holy. at him. You went there. He is, what? and just kept going. Wait, who? Sissy or Leatherface? Sissy. That's no, I'm not insane. Sissy on Leatherface. Ryan literally sprinted and ran and made a bunch of noise because oh he thought God. you'd seen him. Like he. Sorry. I got I'm scared. Playing. My controller is disconnected. That's why. I just keep running around in a circle, though. He went upstairs. Did he? <laughs> I don't think he did. He went upstairs. It's fine. I'm meant to be harvest. I got blood perks on. I'm gonna just get this blood up. He's a he's a little ninja. Also, Leatherface's FOV is ass. I it is horrible. Agree. Yeah. Oh my god! You gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. Are you? I'm gonna be <laughs> did I do it? That one's... No, no, no. Did you guys do anything in the basement? The whole game. Uh, I left. Yeah, I left. Every fucking door is locked. Yeah, we all went out the same door. We did. 
Oh my team. god! <laughs> oh! He's on me! I didn't see him, he was too hot. I'm gonna cut him off at the pass. This is bad, He's guys. Hurt. I'm not gonna lie, this, this is bad. He's going through a crack, he's going through a crack! Mm -mm. I wish I could ping. Yeah, 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 chip, 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 go, go, go. No, no, the other way, other way, other way, other way! This Did way! I? Yes, he went through a crack here, he went in the red room. Brother, I just I'm ran sorry, from the red room. This is called Leatherface Lair. Yeah, why don't you just tell him the exact map location where they I'm hiding in the hide and seek? Red room. Come on, man. <laughs> it's not I like saw bones moving. I saw bones moving. You got enough things working against me right now. So Ryan, um, Cal, but I think you need a lock pick. Bro, I'm. I gotta find. A, I'm. I'm losing it too because I was think I was the motherfucker who unlocked the first door in the basement. Now I'm like, I did oh, shit. I'm baking the damn bread. I'm. Uh, I'm milling oh, the flour. I'm. There's I'm chasing him in the basement. I'm chasing can, him. Can get. He went through a hole. <laughs> oh, this rocks. By the way, I've given up on trying He's to kill him. He's going through a hole again. Feeding, I'm. I'm simply feeding Grandpa so I can see him forever. I suck at Leatherface. I took those um, not seeing him per comments really personally. It makes you feel any better. All but one of them are a lie. What? You're f now you're like psychologically <laughs> fucking with me, man. Please. This surely this one's open. <laughs> I <laughs> like. Oh. <laughs> He's over here, I think. Why do we keep running into each other? Is he still really in the basement? Yes. I've unlocked like five basement doors. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's a troll. I'm trolling. He's trolling again, Your Honor. Okay. I'm I promise you, I'm not I'm griefing. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best. It's just. I don't think you are. I'm except getting... for the one point when you did walk by a lock pickbox to buy a bone scrap. Okay, like, that that was not smart. But I also was, was being was... chased at the time. I needed some anti aggro okay, technology. No, you just passed by a lockpick, man. Oh, okay, again. Thank you, thank to the right. No, no, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Horny so, grandpa. Right ahead on the left. There you go, bud. He's so right. I'm, get, I'm, try, I'm trying so to real. fill him up. He's so real for this. Hi. <laughs> I see you this time. You you are. What? The door didn't slam in his face? No, you gotta push it onto me. It couldn't have been more on you. No, no, like you have to open it towards me. Like you have to turn around and then slam it again. Oh, farting on him! Fuck, it sucks! <laughs> yeah, it's like delayed and oh, stuff. Oh, Ryan, you have ruined my perspective camera. Okay, there we go, it's fixed. <laughs> when you ran by that wall, it just locked straight up. Poor I lost him. I found him. Oh! Farting on him! It's... It's Jover. It's Jover. Farting on him. The farting sucks. Yeah, it's 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 Apollo's just good <sighs> at it. <laughs> <sighs> what the fuck? I see him. The bro, circles. let me grapple you. You don't have your bone me. bar. I did. I used I used it to hit him. Oh. He hit me, Corey. Corey, I lost him. It's not supposed to be able to do that. Corey, yeah, I lost him. Nice I fucking lost him, Corey. About to... Oh, <laughs> sorry, I lost him. Sorry, I lost him. <laughs> oh, and you also found some health, so that's good. Back up to full. I'm huh? so sorry, but also like, I mean, we're out of time. It's it's Jover. It's such a winnable match. I, if they had just given Grandpa more blood, it would have been very. Over. Can you calm down? Watch this. <laughs> You're about to eat your words, dude. Corey's just up here looking at Grandpa with no blood. <laughs> well, I'm giving him blood. What are you talking about? Just, just spam it, man. Just spam it. Not a... It is funny that the door he was trying to un uh, the picklock he was trying to get was right next to the door that's just open in the basement. Uh huh. My perception of this match is that I'm the only person who did anything, so I'm accepting wow. zero criticism that whatsoever. Is, uh... That's crazy. I, I wasn't criticizing you. That was uh, Chibli, who's on Where the other out? team, trying to spawn division. Hey, no. I was just giving him a Oh, he's still point. down there, huh? I'm out of stamina. He's got away from me again, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't know why you're just sitting. I just feel like you could have gotten away again, man. Now I'm criticizing you. 
Here's a, I'm, I'm just giving you guys some tech next time you get chased by a killer. Well, so I <laughs> yeah, got chased that. by a killer on the second floor where there's seven dead ends, so... Guys, maybe I am blind, y'all. He's really good. And I wish I would have just, like, kept hiding. I didn't realize that this would go on this long. Yep. Yeah. Is, uh... If I go in the basement, I want to vomit. That's okay, yeah. I'll get him out. No, even he can't get him out. That's there's no, there's no hope. I'm out of stamina. He's really quick. <laughs> I do think that this could technically go on forever. <laughs> go this way. Come here, man. There we go. He jumped down. Oh, dude, it's like Leatherface has never swung a fucking chainsaw before, man. I hate to tell you this, Ryan, but you're I know. To be detected by Grandpa. Brother, it's. <laughs> This shit's driving me crazy, man. Hello? It sounds like he's looting something. Are you healing? <laughs> he was healing. I could've... He's... Why is your character so fast? Oh. He is very fast. <laughs> CEO of your running. Your character's so fucking quick, man. I just thought you guys should just let him open a door. I feel like the game might end faster. It's probably easier to kill him up top. Nope, 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 nope. He dies. He dies here. Today. Today! Hey, a lockpick. Oh, goodbye. Alright. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Finally! Another face with a final kill. Oh my I've been God. fucking chasing him for like 25 minutes, bro! Your movement is actually insane. Like, yeah, oh it's not. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, actually, he's in the basement. It's not that insane. He's just in the with a little thing and run away know, easily. Shibley, I'm looking at the Thiv. Four oh. kills from Leatherface. Man, oh, Corey kind of carries. I swear <laughs> to you. I spent Leatherface 16 carried. I built to give blood, and I did my role perfectly. <laughs> I was not no, leaving. Was Every door was locked, man. I've never <laughs> seen that before. <laughs> he's trying to survive. He's not griefing. He's trying to live. Oh. Oh. This is so interesting, dude. If I did that, everyone would be throwing rocks at my window. <laughs> I, I opened the door. I got the fuse. I unlocked the fuse box. I put the fuse in the fuse box. I did the fuse puzzle. I was one microsecond too late to sneak through the door. <laughs> Extended the game by 32 minutes. It was a very comical. comical round. <laughs> Thank you oh, for the. Just, oh, that again. was the same game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GG. Good games. GG. Good games. Justin climbed into my chainsaw. I did. What a game. This is, I think, the oh, best God. game. Next, hey, good, next time, good. full seven people. No doubt. Full seven, seven next time. Wow, for real? Let's full go, London Lobby 2, for sure. Damn. No, I think we have to give up and just go for four. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say bye? It's hard to say bye in a room full of streamers. Because while you're saying bye, like two people are talking, so somebody didn't hear you so then you gotta go like bye 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 sometimes it's easier to just hang up no it's not how would you know goggy oh <laughs> oh dropout streams what happened you're in third place I'm in second place. Can I cyber bully you? Obi-Wan Cannabis, you got my permission. Anybody who's in the top two Super Auto Pets players this weekly can backseat me, okay? Slash user dropout streams. 151 messages in chat. <laughs> Last message three hours ago. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Um, I, I I don't have time to run one back. I got I got stuff to do. I gotta renew my car insurance. You can do it online these days. No, I can't, cause my dumbass has joint ownership of my car with my wife, cause I support women. So I go online. Hey, we 98% of ICBC renewals can be done online now. Okay, great. Do you have sole ownership of your vehicle? No. Please come see us immediately. Librarian, you know what to do. I feel like you had to do this a few months ago. Yep, 12 months ago. 
12 months ago, I did it. It was exactly the same bit because the process has not modernized. See you tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Ryan, for the raid. Hello, raiders. Hello, Joler. Joler looking. <laughs> the looking is so good. <laughs> I like big looking and also Joler. Come on, spin. I think my Joler broke. It's not spinning. Is it? I, I have always wondered. When Ryan raids my channel, does he tell you to joler in my chat? Or do raiders always joler every day? It's just coincidence. When Ryan starts his stream, do people joler too? He never said it even once. He doesn't have joler. He has Joel though. Is that, is that why people, oh, it's time to raid. When Ryan's when when Ryan's stream starts, do you Joel? I I never been at the very start of the stream. We Joel nonstop. Most people just poggers. All I I cannot see his stream in the beginning, but then I can hear him starting we his stream. To thank you, Raikin two two zero seven for thirty two months. Thank you, thank you. He just starts the stream. Take a sip of water or whatever. Crack open a cold one. <laughs> he drinks something and he goes, What up with man's bathroom? He doesn't even go, Oh, hi, welcome to the stream. Today is September 6th, Wednesday. Welcome, everybody. He doesn't even do that anymore. He just goes, so what is wrong with groceries nowadays? There is no self-checkout. How am I going to make it onto our dinner time when there is no self-checkout? That's, uh, that's what I hear <clears throat> when I'm getting ready to take my daughter to daycare. I mean, not me ready, but honestly, I'm just waiting for her to be ready. It's not that she needs to get ready. She's already, she's, she's all dressed and nice and everything. It's just, um, she, she's like, I gotta watch Dora and I need to know what, where Dora needs to go by saying map and backpack and swipe her, go away, swipe her, go away. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I, even today I said, we're late. We gotta go. And she goes, no. Hold on. Like, ah. Oh. I didn't even know the bad guy was Swiper. And then for the bad guy to go away, you gotta go, Swiper, go away. But you have to say it three times. Swiper, go away. Swiper, go away. And he just goes away. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper no swiping, stealing no good, gang gang. And then when I dropped my daughter off to daycare, we were the last one. And I was like, oh my gosh, I told you we were late. And then the daycare provider, she said, Luna has been talking about her birthday a lot. So I think you got to prepare well for her birthday party. She's looking forward to her birthday party. And I said... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared. But she, she was giving me the look. She's like, she really is looking forward to her birthday party. And then to give you a context, apparently yesterday, because yesterday was the first day after the long weekend, right? And apparently all day yesterday, she was just talking to the daycare provider that about her birthday and how amazing it's going to be. <laughs> and there's gonna there's gonna be balloons, there's gonna be cake, there's gonna be bouncy castle. And she was like all day was talking about her birthday party. And I was like, I mean that's great and everything, but it's way at the end of the month. 
<laughs> right now is the beginning of September. But her birthday is not until like her birthday party is actually the last day of September. So I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a long wait, but and this morning she was playing with this um uh, bakery set we have, and there is a heart shaped pink cake it is really small and she said i love this cake i love this cake so much and i said oh you love this cake so much and she said yeah and i said do you want your birthday cake to be like just like this cake and she said yes i would love my birthday cake to be like this cake and i said are you sure because mommy can custom order it and she said, yes, yes, I love the heart shape. I love the pink. And I said, do you love it because it's small or do you love it because it's cute? And she said, I love it because it's cute. And I said, okay, I will, I will then order a custom order your birthday cake to look exactly like this. Because thankfully, it's not crazy. It's just like pink polka dot heart shaped cake. That That's it. There, there's no like crazy stuff on it or it's three three layers or you know what i mean it's nothing crazy so what flavor cake we don't know that but uh up to your imagination i guess did you have a crush on him too no i didn't really like naruto all that much i'm not i wasn't a huge fan of naruto who was your anime crush i think i think the chatters know <laughs> full and full name first and last name oh man even ryan knows too that's the funny thing he doesn't even watch anime you don't full metal alchemist kick l on me that's just wrong that's just wrong that's like what's wrong with you dude you're just wrong if anything if you're a true then junior you should go Little bro warning. Little bro, little bro. Where's the little bro emote? I hold on, I got it. What does that emote mean? Oh my gosh. We have we have a a new student in class. Welcome go out to the class. So Danglish is a very difficult language. May I say one of the most language to master? Even the creator of Dan Giesling does not know how to master this language, despite he is the creator. The only one person on earth that has mastered Danglish is uh, Ryan Gary. He is the sole master scholar of the Danglish, and he he's the only one who has a full potential to understand and explain everything. But I will try to explain Dang bro. So the context is that he was playing PUBG and he would just go into randos, you know, like play play with uh three rando teammates and he had the voice com open and um he would just kind of interview them out of nowhere and sometimes they would say, you know, fuck this, fuck that. And Daniel, he goes, hey, hey, my little brother is watching. So could you, could you please watch the language? And then the other person goes, oh, okay, sorry. The only reason why he said the little, my little brother is watching is not because he actually had a little brother next to him. It's because he was streaming, but he didn't want to tell them that he was streaming. So he just wanted to say, hey, my little brother is watching. Can you watch your language? So that's the full explanation. I don't know what the um, other emotes though. Where the the hodl hodl hodl? It's like hold on, hodl. What does it say? Hodl hodl hodl. I don't know how to pronounce that though. Hodl. Oh, that's a meme. What's Dan G Cosmic? Is that a uh rainbow on top of box dude i fell out <laughs> i don't know what that is it's a brownie that's a brownie he loves brownie or something what's this dang nails that's 
what is what am i looking at is he biting his nail that's dead chewing his nail it looks like he's eating a fist or something <laughs> kind of hard to see what it is oh no and i uh i will not even attempt to search the eat i don't even know resin oh i don't even know how to explain it <laughs> search the eat and resin so uh, i know the meaning but i don't know how to explain I, I feel like i should not explain it i don't i don't got the whole definition but that is like one out of thousands of stuff that he he makes up, but he doesn't even fully understand the meaning of. D-A-E? That's Danglish? D-A-E? D-A-E is Danglish? I didn't know D-A-E was Danglish. I don't know. Oh, it's not Dan original. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Isn't D-A-E like um over explaining things when someone over explains something or someone nobody asked about it but they're explaining something and they go like d-a-e oh originally it meant does anyone else but now he uses it as can someone explain this but then then used it for like nerd explaining things in nerdy ways okay so i was on the ballpark you know, I go, hey, where, where is the bathroom? And then instead of saying turn right, there will be, a, if you if you are to open Google Map, it's a thirty six degree, <laughs> like you know something like that. And then I go, oh, da da. It's if you if you're not in the moment, it's hard to explain it honestly. Yeah, lion da. That's where I got it. It's over explaining or some. I thought sometimes people used it when. Um, nobody asked any question, but a person comes out of nowhere and explains like the whole wiki of something, and then it's like, oh, who brought the the DAE guy here? DAE. Gotta catch a hunker, a grouper, or a tuna. Gotta catch a hunker, a haddock, or a cod. Gotta catch a hunker, albacore, what the hell man, how did I get nothing from the sea, now we gotta switch it up slightly, don't remember, how does the tune go during this part, oh Jesus.